The new Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are turning heads for their slick design, powerful hardware and brilliant cameras. These are definitely the phones to be looking at if you want the best of the best right now. However, there is one problem with their design and that is the fact that the fingerprint sensors on the back are extremely difficult to reach. Samsung had to move the sensors in order to make these phone screens bigger, but they're always out of reach, especially on the larger S8 Plus. You'll also wind up accidentally smudging the camera lens quite often. Samsung's solutions are to use iris or face recognition instead. These are two interesting options, but both have flaws of their own. Also, only one can be active at a time. The iris scanner is more secure but less easy to use. You have to first wake the phone, then swipe up to go to the security screen, and then hold the phone steady with your eyes lined up with the two circles shown. It's impossible to do this while walking or in a crowded space. Samsung warns that this feature isn't for everyone. It also might not work reliably if you wear glasses, though we didn't have any trouble. On the other hand, face recognition is quicker but less secure. You can use it from the lock screen, but if it fails, you have to swipe or tap to try again. This is the least secure of all biometric methods and therefore the only one that can't be used with Samsung Pay. Reports suggest that it's possible to fool face recognition with a photo, but we tried hundreds of times with different photos, making sure that our own faces were out of the way and our Galaxy S8 did not unlock itself. It might not be easy to trick the face recognition feature, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. If you're concerned about security, you're gonna have to give up a little convenience. In our experience with the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, we eventually settled on a good old-fashioned PIN code, which is still a quick and effective security measure. Let's hope the Galaxy S9 gets it right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Gadgets360.